Well, you've seen them on Better Call Saul. They were featured on the latest season of CNN's The History of Comedy. They have a stand-up special on Netflix and one on Stars. They are out on tour over the next several months, but they're here tonight. Please welcome the Sklar Brothers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is so good to be here in the Twin Cities. Not, Not just because we're twins. No. Um, we love it. I feel like we feel a kinship to this place. It's great because you can tell exactly which part of the metropolitan area someone's from by the way they answer the question, where are you from? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> if you ask someone where they're from and they're like Twin Cities, you're like, okay, St. Paul. We got it. Uh, yeah, we got it. Just trying to <laughs> glom onto that New York. Really? You don't want to say St. Paul? No, no, no it's, it's Twin Cities. It's part of one whole part large of the whole conglomerate. conglomerate. It's, yeah, that's. It's basically the same city. You had some from Minneapolis. You're like, where are you from? Minneapolis. Oh, yeah, oh, really? Minneapolis. Just Minneapolis, not the Twin no, Cities at all? No, just Minneapolis. Actually, it's actually it's Edina, and I'd like you to stand back about five feet. From my privilege. You're, you're in my privileged air. Yeah. Um, We're in a good mood. In a good mood. We recently got recognized in Tulsa. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Walking down the street, car sees us, guy recognizes us, ro- drives up to us, rolls down the window, looks at the two of us, and is like, get out of here, Jews. You know. <laughs> it just feels good to be recognized for your work, is right? what we're trying like, to say. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a great job. This is an amazing traveling show. We travel around as comedians. We see the country in a way that most people don't get to see the country. Uh, spoiler alert, people are mad. People are upset. Uh, yep. One of the reasons they're mad is that I feel like good people can't afford to live in cool cities anymore. Kind of Minnesota, sucks. Minneapolis getting expensive. Yeah, definitely. It's nothing like San Francisco. San Francisco is ridiculous. You have to make $120,000 a year just to be homeless in San Francisco. That's, right. That's a fact. <laughs> Hashtag truth. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag, hashtag World, World Cup. Cup. All right, so. Um, trying to, get, trying some to get some likes on that joke. Right. Uh, I just think San Francisco is cool. Even the touristy stuff in San Francisco is cooler than what anybody has in their city. Jay and I were out on the Fisherman's Wharf, and maybe it's because we were twins. We're out there on the wharf. Which is the most touristy part? Can't get more touristy than Fisherman's Wharf. Jay and I are out there, and we thought, what if there was a second Fisherman's Wharf? Like an identical Fisherman's Wharf right, right next, next to, to these. So two... Fisherman's. Men's. I think it's man's. I think it's men's. Man's wharfs. Wharves. Man, men's wharves? No, it's men's wharves. I really think it's man's wharves. Nope, it's definitely. You're, okay, you're pluralizing the men. I think it's men's wharves. Well, it's not wharfs. Okay, well, it's it definitely might be. Not uh, you think it's fisherman's wharves? I think it's fisherman's wharves. It, it, okay, it okay. is. Okay. What if there were two separate fishermen's wharves, wharves, and standing on each of those fishermen's wharves were two dwarfs? Dwarves. Dwarves? I think it is dwarves. I think it's dwarves. I think it is dwarves. Okay. Two dwarves standing, dwarves. On, two dwarves standing on two separate fishermen's men's men's wharves. wharves. Both of them are wearing scarves. Scarves. That I know is scarves. That I know is scarves. I know it's scarves. It's scar- okay. It is scarves. Two dwarves, dwarves standing on two separate fishermen's men's, men's wharves. wharves. Both of them are wearing scarves. scarves. What if in the exact same moment they're both attacked by wolves? Wolves. It's it wolves. is wolves. I think it's wolves. Wolves is like a wolves. Jewish family. Okay, no, it I think is it's wolves. wolves. Two dwarves standing on two separate fishermen's men's wharves. wharves. Both of them wearing scarves. In the exact same moment they both get attacked by wolves. wolves. Is that the new season of Game of Thrones? It, uh, it should be. Should be right. Spoiler alert: It, it is. is. Uh, <laughs> Jay and I uh, travel around. It's it, it's kind of hard. We have kids. Jay and I each have two kids, which, by the way, is too many kids. It's too many like, kids. Two two is like socially irresponsible. At we this we point, know that. At this point, the only good thing about having two kids is if anybody has less than you and they complain about it at all, you can just rip them to shreds. It's, it's so fun, too. Carte blanche, it is so cathartic. A friend of ours, comedian, was on stage. 
He was doing a 15-minute set about how his one 17-month-old kid was ruining his life. How hard it was to raise one. How difficult his life had become with one 17-month-old kid. Now, Jason and I were the most supportive comedians ever. Comedians come off stage, we're always like, I love that That's bit. That's a great joke. Here's a tag I for just that tagged joke. his I'm tag. I'm tagging his I'm tag. I'm tagging jokes I'm you haven't tagging even written tag. yet. It's a tagging tag vortex. Yet. Here's the headline, keep, keep doing, doing comedy. comedy. That's, That's what we <laughs> tell people when they get off stage. This guy got off stage after doing a 15-minute set about his, how his one 17-month-old kid was ruining his life. Jay and I were backstage. We were like, you got to stop. Get out of comedy. Get out of comedy. Get out of comedy. <laughs> what are you doing? Take a vow of silence. Become a monk. Just stop talking. One 17-month-old kid? You're a parent like an optometrist is a doctor. Barely. 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 <laughs> Barely. You're a doctor like Dr. Dre is a doctor. Barely. 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 <clears throat> One 70-month-old kid? That's like a dog that occasionally talks. That's, that's what, what you're a 70-month-old that is. And that's too much for you? Then I love our friends that just have pets and can't handle that situation. That's too, too much. Too much for them. Hey, man, we're getting a drink after the show. You want to come with us? Nah, nah I got to get to my dog, dog out. out. That's... Uh, it's my baby. That's my boy. It's my baby. It's like raising a it's child. It's literally like raising a kid. It is exactly it's literally like, like raising, raising a child. child. We're like, is it? Because <laughs> if you can tie it up while you go have brunch, it's not a kid. It's not a kid. All right. If you can pay good money to watch it fight another one to the death, it, it is, is not, not again. again. <laughs> if it runs away and three weeks later you're like, let's just get another one and call it the same name, it is <laughs> not again. If at age 15 you're thinking about putting it to sleep, That actually is that a kid. That is a kid. That's that a teenager. Is a horrible teenager who will not stop playing Fortnite. We're the Sklar Brothers. Thank you guys. You're Thank amazing. You, you guys are well.